John Boltz, VP Indie Music. I'm Mark Quavis, this is New Media Weekly. Since you started your journey in the music business up until this point, what do you think has been the most radical change, whether it's been in, you know, an approach to the music business, whether it's a single action or a piece of technology, what has been the real? I don't think there's one thing that has really revolutionized things. What I do think is happening and you're seeing a lot is artists are foregoing the label system entirely. For example, uh, Kina Granis, who is a huge YouTube star. She has 500,000 subscribers, about 90 million views on her channel. She had a deal with Universal. But after looking at what the deal had to offer, she decided to drop her label and produce her music independently. So do you feel that that's going to be the wave of the future? I think there's always going to be record labels and there's always going to be a place for them in the music business. Right. But I think that what we're going to see is a lot more artists deciding to take control of their music and how they're marketed and how they're branded. And that's where indie music comes in. And that's in. where indie music comes <laughs> in. That's it. At its, at its core, what is indie music? Well, there's two sides to indie music. The first is our network. And our network is really how we generate revenue. The idea is that we have one channel, you can sell so many ads against it. But if you have a thousand like channels that have similar demographics, you're able to go out to advertisers and charge a higher rate for those views. So while music on YouTube generally uh, monetizes around 25 to 50 cents CPM, right. which is clicks per thousand for, for, for the people, at, you don't know. For the people <laughs> at home. Uh, so music doesn't monetize that well. There's other things like gaming and fashion that monetize very well. But at the same time, when you have 10 million views a month, all of a sudden you have an audience that's comparable to a small cable network. And that's something that advertisers take notice to and are willing to pay a little bit more money to reach your, tar your audience. With this new business model that you're proposing to the, to the music industry, what's been the reaction in dealing with record labels, management agencies, and such? A lot of managers have been really supportive about what we do, simply because uh, it's an additional option for them. If a band is managed but not necessarily signed to a label yet, this is an additional opportunity for them to brand their channel. It also gives them additional options with annotating videos so people know where to subscribe to their channel. And it's, it's interesting because a, a lot of people that we approach aren't even aware that it is possible to make money on YouTube or to, specifically through our network, to have Content ID available, which is YouTube's uh, copyright enforcement software. Right. So if someone say, films a band at a show and uploads it to their YouTube channel, Indie Music, through our network partnership, is able to claim and monetize those videos on the artist's behalf. Really? Yes. <laughs> that is... and, and on the flip side, some people think that um, what we're doing is a little outlandish, and they aren't really interested in it right now. Outlandish in what fashion? Well, outlandish, I think, mostly because a lot of people are still very much in that record label model, like a lot of managers that we talk to are saying, you know, we're talking to these labels and we don't want to interfere with that. And the thing about indie music is we see ourselves as a very collaborative company. We are there to help our artists in any way possible. So in all of the contracts we have out to our artists, there's clauses that if anything significantly changes, like they get a record deal or something like that, we're able to revisit it and structure the deal in a way that makes the most sense for the artist. So they don't feel like in days gone by with the music business, they would get into a contract and, you know. Right, like if a band were to sign with a universal subsidiary and they were monetizing through a Vivo channel, that's great. But Vivo is only interested in official music videos. So a lot of artists, they connect with their fans using behind the scenes videos, videos from the road, and post that to their own YouTube channels, which a company like Indie Music is able to monetize and capture those views for them.